What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan, my man George. Bobby, guys, how you living out there? Las Vegas coming back at you with the unbiased real reaction, right, baby. Shout out to our free thinkers, of course. And the Queen, Aretha right. Franklin. Yes, one and only, man. Yeah, man, we had to pay tribute. We, we had to. We had to. Y'all know that, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. George and I talk about this like off the ca off camera all the time. Is is how long and how influential has R&B been in our household? Oh, dude, it's a staple. Crazy. Come on, man. You know, I mean, my mom, my grandma, my aunts, everybody, yep. everybody that I know you know, listens to R&B, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and soul, and blues, a little bit yep. of jazz, so I mean, this is just, this is just like second, they just like part of our DNA, Exactly. you know what I mean, her music is like almost part of our DNA, yep. so it's only right that we we pay her a proper tribute, and um, and just really celebrate, you know, what an incredible greatness. legacy, you greatness, I mean? greatness, seriously, because her music has crossed over generations, man. oh dude, Fifty, right? Over at least over fifty years, I think she was in the yeah. industry. At least, yeah. I think you know what I mean. Correct me in the comments, yeah. but at least so. that. And um, we wanted to take this opportunity to really, um, we want to kind of reestablish <laughs> R&B on this channel. Let, what happened with R&B? Shout out to the people who appreciate. Shout out to all three of y'all. Shout out to all three. All three. I'm just joking. <laughs> But I, we just felt like there was some sort of disconnect there, right? Because every one of our yep. other genres that we've been doing has kind of grown. Yes. You know what I mean? We've seen the growth. We could look at the analytics. We could see it. But there's been some sort of stagnation with yeah. R&B for Big some time. reason. And we're like, well, what's going on? What happened to R&B? Why, why aren't people gravitating to R&B? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the roots of R&B. Yeah, man. You know, we're going to start with, like, you know, the beginning stages of R&B, maybe the early 50s around there, Ray Charles, B.B. King, and all those guys. Yep. Aretha Franklin, we're going to work our way up. And hopefully what we can do is bridge the gap yes. in generations, right? Yes. Yeah, we can Big bring time. the old to the new, the new to the old, <laughs> yeah. and we can kind of figure out what went wrong, and maybe we could help, you know, reestablish, yeah. reestablish, yeah, you know, man. the greatness of it, man, and inspire some people, some young R&B artists out there, you know, why, what, what made R&B so great? What was it about these people when we're going through these uh, old videos <laughs> yeah. that was so uh, astonishing? You know what I mean? And maybe you could sort of take some pieces of that, man, add it to some of the new swag. Yep. And um and create maybe a new a new resurgence. So that's kind of what we're hoping to do. Absolutely, absolutely. So um with that being said, thank you for saying that. But we also want to announce that no monetization on this, no ads on this video None. at all. We just want to pay tribute. To, that's uh, it. No ads song. will be on this video, guys. Yeah, so man. so we chose uh, you make me feel because we just love this song. Yes, yeah, beautiful, great song. Yeah. Um and we typed this in the search bar because that was the first song that came to mind from us, and we saw that she did a live performance here at the uh, the Kennedy Center, so we wanted to check it out. So let's get into it, Aretha Franklin performing uh, You Make Me Feel Alive. One, Aretha Franklin. <laughs> Obviously, when she's older. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was Carol King here. I believe she wrote the song as well. So that's dope. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how she sounds because she's obviously older now. Yeah. So that's yeah absolutely. Bring it home. Well, she looks great though. Yeah, she does. All right, let's get into it. Looking up. Wow. On the morning rain. That sounds good. How old is she here? Super like flabbergasted. Oh, Obama's Right here. I'm telling you. See, I'm gonna be real and keep it real. A lot of times we respect them, we love them because we understand the yep. legacy that they left, but a lot of times later in their career, they you know, just, they don't sound the they same. They don't sound the same, and it's yeah. natural. We understand that. Because everyone you know gets I mean? older. Yep. Everyone understands the context of what's yep. going on, but yep. she sounds very good. Yeah. You know what I mean? This, that's, that's crazy. Definition of an icon, man. Man. Think about that. Incredible. Think about that, man. This is an iconic song. You can't go. I don't think you can go anywhere and no one can say that they've never heard yeah. this song. You you know you know that. You're yeah. Like, oh yeah yeah yeah. I yeah. mean that, that's good home cooking right. Right there. <laughs> and Carol King. I mean I, her reaction was kind of like how I was feeling. Like she wow. had those notes like it's she amazing. It great. It gives you goosebumps because hey, it's her, but also the fact that she still sounds the way she sounds. Yep. You know what I mean? At, at this stage of her career is incredible. You know what I mean? So big time. Let's keep it going. Yeah. 
Okay? Sing it, girl. Sing it. She just sounds so great, man. And she's and playing the piano very well, obviously, yep. on top of singing and hitting those notes, dude. Come on, man. We touched on it a second ago, but as you get older, man, you can hear your voice start to diminish a little bit. Mm -hmm. It starts to get a little shaky. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like, ooh. Everything diminishes. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. But she still sounds authentic. Like, I, I, she sounds like, like I can close my eyes and she can sing. I'm like, oh, that's Aretha. Yeah. I All day. Instantly. 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 Yep. All right, let's get back to it. Yeah, Kerry yeah. Washington. Man, yeah. that's beautiful, man. And that's not because we, we're not clapping because we just, oh, we know she's an icon and just the fact that she's it's up there, we're clapping. Yeah. No, we're clapping because she did an incredible job. Like, at her age, to be able to belt those notes out <coughs> like she did. Amazing. Play the piano at that level. And just the car, uh, obviously she's an, she's an amazing performer. Took her coat off. She had, you know, she had the fire on, you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> Diamond shining, took the coat off. Just, she was at home yeah, on man. that stage. You know what I mean? Just a, an incredible, iconic, Legend. But let's have a little fun here, man. I I'm wondering, does she have any performances where she... Because I want to compare um, this to when she was uh, younger. In her prime, huh? I want to see if there's any videos of... Uh... We'll do this on camera, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so we found this one. Um, it looks like this might be when she was younger. I, can, I could tell based off of the background here that shit looks old as hell. Yeah. I just wanted to get a refresher on how she sounded when she was younger versus yeah. what we just witnessed. Just out of curiosity because I felt I really felt like she, she did very good on that performance. So let's check it out. Young Aretha. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be so uninspired. And when I knew I had to leave for another day, mm. Lord, it made me feel so tired. Mm. Before the day I met 
sounds now as it's matured you can tell that she was younger there and she can belt out uh, higher notes which is amazing don't get me wrong but when she was like oh natural woman she can, she can get you know what I mean she she has more of a mature sound okay and I think when you're talking about a natural woman when you when you're talking about a song about a powerful strong woman you got to be able to get low on those notes right there I you got to too deep yeah <laughs> You know, so I really like the mature Aretha. Love them both. Love them both. Yeah, and it's man. just amazing to just to see how she she maintained um, the level of excellence that she yes. displayed over time. I mean, come on, dude. That's just a true a true. Le that's what legends are made of. Over yes. Fifty years in a game to be able to perform like that at that age to inspire so many people dude. and to leave a legacy that just inspired and changed so many lives and changed the scope of music. I mean, to leave this earth knowing that you had that type of influence. I mean, that has to be. You know an amazing feeling you know what i mean for her so absolutely man absolutely and one thing that you kind of touched on man um is she had an impact on so many different people's lives right mm -hmm. and you look at that video when she was performing live man you look at all the different people from all different backgrounds right white black you name it you know actors songwriters all you know ceos the president yeah the president you know it's just crazy how music brings people together man. absolutely it's undeniable and bringing people together through music is what we're all about man. well said man love it well said love it rest in peace to an icon a legend just that's it man that yeah, was an man. amazing performance by Lisa, nice. man you know so that's the end video guys if you enjoyed it please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it's las vegas george ryan we out